Shalom Israel. In this video right here, I'm going to cover Genesis 25, 25 and the scriptures pertaining to the color of Esau. Uh, many Israelites out there have uh, mistakenly uh, assumed that Esau is a so-called white man. And the scripture that's used that they base this on is Genesis 25 25 and since this is the foundation of everything I'm gonna ask that uh, any debates uh, and arguments on this topic be geared towards the color of Esau only and then not scriptures like you know Obadiah 1 18 second Ezra 6 and 9 we're gonna address those things in other videos but I just want to deal with the technical aspects of the color of Esau and, you know, and prove that Esau is not the so-called white man. And in Genesis 25, 25, the color that they use to describe Esau is not that of a white man or Caucasian. So let's get into it. Genesis 25, 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Now, this has been done many times. We're going to go through this slow and do it this way. And the first came out red. Now, that's word 132 in the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary. Red. Admone. Admone. It's from word 119. Remember that. That's the root word, 119. It means reddish, of the hair or the complexion. Brown Driver and Briggs lexicon gives us red or ruddy of Esau as an infant. Okay? Now let's, for, let's, let's go over to 1 Samuel chapter 16. Let's get the description of King David. 1 Samuel 16, verse 12. And he sat and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And Yahweh said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Okay? Now he's described as ruddy right here. That's the same Hebrew word, 132, that was used to describe Esau's color. All right, it's the same word, admoni. It means reddish. It comes from the Hebrew word 119. Let's go further. 1 Samuel 17, verse 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy. He said he was ruddy and of a fair countenance. That's word 132 ruddy now was David a so-called white man was he was he red in the in the face in that sense where where you can see through his white skin or clear skin and see the blood and that's why he was called red or ruddy it's the same Hebrew word and this isn't used to describe any uh, mental characteristics here because it says and when the Philistine looked about and saw David so he's looking upon David and then they're given description descriptive words it says for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance he was a nice looking young man he had a nice ruddy color to him we're gonna get into that in a minute let's go on to uh, let's see Song of Solomon Song of Solomon 5 verse 10 it reads my beloved is white and ruddy now before we go on let me define this word white here this isn't talking about uh, complexion here this word is is the Hebrew word tasak or tsak meaning dazzling that is sunny bright figuratively evident all right, he's he's an interesting man. He he was dazzling. 
and ready. Now this here, it's word 122, when they describe Solomon. Now word 122, according to Strong's, it's the word Adam. It's also from 119. You're going to find that this is the root word for all the words that we're going to look up pertaining to this color. It means rosy, brown driver and Briggs. It, translate, it, it gives us the definition red or ruddy of man, horse, heifer, garment, water, lentils. So all these things have the same color of man, horse, heifer, garment, water, lentils. That means they will all match up. Okay? We're going to prove this. Uh, the next scripture, let's go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. It reads, And Yahweh, mighty one, formed man. This word man, let's go down here to the definition. That's also the word Adam. Same Hebrew word. Also from 119, that's the root, Adam. Meaning ruddy, that is a human being, an individual, or the species, mankind, etc. Ready. All right. The Most High formed man of the dust, of the ground. This word here, translated of the ground, that's word 127. Adama. Root word 119, meaning soil, from its general redness country earth ground now if we take a picture if we look at a picture of the soil we're gonna find that it's also a reddish brown color all right and that's that's how man was formed of, of the ground and remember man was made in the image of the most high all right so let's go down down to uh, let's find out what's going on because I know some Israelites, they, you know, you hear them out on the streets and they, they call him um, the so-called white man a leper, and that he has leprosy. Well, in the law, let's, do, let's see how leprosy is described. In Leviticus 13, 4, if the bright spot be white in the skin, okay, this bright spot has to be white in the skin. And this word is, isn't the word Adam or Admoni. It didn't say red in the skin. This word is Laban, white. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut him up, him that have the plague, seven days. There's a difference between white and red. You, that you, you can't have it both ways. One describes the skin as white, and one describes it as red. And people always say, you hear him saying, oh, the so-called white man is a leper, he has leprosy. Okay, his skin's white, according to scripture. White skin means leprosy. Okay, but what about, then you read back in Genesis 25, 25, it says the skin was red. All right, so you, you, can't, you can't have it both ways. That, that's being uh, double-minded and also speaking with a forked tongue. Notice this here, Numbers 19, verse 2. This is the ordinance of the law which Yahweh hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein there is no blemish, and upon which never came a yoke. Now this here, red heifer, red heifer, Adam, all right, from 119, meaning rosy, red, ruddy. Okay, and you can see a picture of the red heifer. That's a reddish brown. That's how the red heifer looks. It's a reddish brown. It's not a bright red or a blood red or anything. And it doesn't look like the so-called white man. Okay, I'm going to uh, have to make a part two to this. So, uh, and we'll finish up this particular topic in part two. Uh, so stay tuned. And with that, shalom.